Hey everybody, Bombs here. What I'm doing today is I'm gonna change uh, my back license plate tail lights for the camper mobile. Uh, then we'll do a little cooking demonstration for my ham and egger, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, enjoy. So guys, this is what we're trying to take out right now of the actual big panel right here. We're gonna take this all down, and then what we gotta do is come in here and pull these out this way after we unlatch a clip in the back. Now I guess we got one more in the middle here and then this should all come out. Well, look at that. I guess I did it so far. Now see guys, these are clamps we have to hit right there. And supposedly we this there we go now that should come out see there's the light now now we'll try to replace that bulb. Here goes one. Okay, now we're going to try to put it back in. <laughs> That's what she said. Got one other thing, gotta put this seal on. Almost screwed that up. Okay, it should be in. Now we'll do the number two. We'll unplug that. Hopefully. 
first one came out just fine. Got that done. Now let's pull this off the bracket. Okay, that should work. This comes like this. Okay, that's all back together. I think I screwed that up. Okay, so now we'll put that back on. Okay, that's all back together. Now let's get her back in the thing. Forgot the gasket again. Now it's on there. Okay, and that's clicked back up in there. Let's put this back in. Okay, that's all in. And now we'll reconnect the line. And they should work. And there we go, the lights work on the back again now. Now they can see my license plate. Hey guys, bombs. For the bomb diggity uh, for this right now i just want to give a shout out to a1 auto you can watch them on youtube they give quick demonstrations on how to fix your vehicle and this is not a plug for them but it kind of is i guess so it's just a shout out thanks for your guys' help good luck in the future take care so now what we're gonna do guys since we got everything changed and switched we're gonna put my gray mat back up in the ceiling here now the, what we're going to do is we're going to connect the first one in the middle. Okay. After, bring a trunk, emergency trunk thing out and put it through this little ceiling here. In case anybody ever gets stuck in the trunk, I guess. Should be good. Okay, so we got the first one in. Now what I'm doing, the one thing with these is they didn't tell you that these prongs come out on this inside here. So you might want to get a screwdriver to work with that a little bit.
Got one half done. Now for the second half. We got it. All done. Now what we're going to do here, guys, is make my ham and egger mick. It's a good old breakfast sandwich. Hope you enjoy it. It's slices of smoked ham, uh, cheese on a McMuffin with a nice good old egg. Enjoy. start this fire now. looking nice. Gotta get the cheese melty. I'll put the cheese on right now. Can't leave one lonely, gotta do them both. Now I'll fry up some ham here. Now that's some smell-o-vision.
and I also help melt the cheese. So what we're doing right now is the standard method of a steam cooking the egg. Kind of like they would do at uh, a fast food restaurant of choice. And uh, let's cook these eggs, baby. Break these yolks up with salt, a little pepper, and it is rocking and rolling. Let's we'll turn this down a little bit more. Looking pretty good. There we go. I think that looks good, baby. Pop that bad doggy back in there so it melts together. All right, guys, here you go. Here's the ham and egger mick. Got a McMuffin, got shredded cheddar cheese on, on both McMuffins, melted along with a piece of smoked ham and a two, two egger in between all that. And we also got a orange juice to be named later. And we're gonna give it, a, give this a little bite, give it a try. So uh, didn't take too long. And uh, hopefully it tastes even better. Oh, look at that baby. Oh, that's nice and thick. Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. Now, that's tasty camping food right there.